Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever Etch Etc. And welcome back to another Cricut project. So today we're doing a very easy, very quick vinyl project. Nothing fancy, even if you're a beginner, you can do this project. But I finally got my hands on the mini toolbox from Cobalt. I think I got this at Lowe's. Um, I'll put a link down below, but I have seen this online so many times over the last year and I have wanted it so many times. It comes in several colors, pink, black, white, blue, red, gray, and green. The green is a very like bright kind of lime citrusy green. It's If you like green, it's a pretty green, but obviously I wanted the pink and the pink was sold out many, many times. I even had an alert set up for a while to tell me when it came back in stock. Obviously the alert did not work because I was just at Lowe's the other day and voila, they had a restock because there was a whole row of them where typically I only see the other colors there was pink. So I picked it up. This baby is $20. This is not sponsored. I bought this. I wanted it. It is super cute. Um, and we're going to get into this project. So it is a very easy project. Basically, all the ones that I've seen have really cute little uh, designs on top. So we're gonna pop into the Cricut Access Library, pick out a design, you may be skidding a peek of the one I picked. Um, I'll unbox this for you, even though that's not a very exciting unboxing, it just kind of comes out of the box, but I did wanna show you how she's packaged. And we will go ahead and put the vinyl on. This little girl is going to live out in my work shed where I do my resin and woodworking projects. So I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to keep in here, but I have a lot of little like mica powders and pigments um, that I want to probably keep a little more organized. Right now they're just on my tool cart. Um, I also have a lot of little implements for woodworking like with my Dremel. So we may have a drawer for woodworking and a drawer for resin. I'm not 100% sure. We're just, I'm still organizing the shed, but we'll, we'll bring this girl out there. If, if I really love her, uh, we can always get more. Maybe we'll have one for each. Either way, let's pop over to Cricut Design Space and get started. I'm going to start by popping into Cricut Design Space, and we're going to search for craft tools. You can see I've already done this search. I wanted to see what was out there. All I know is that my little toolbox is 10.8 by 5.9 on the top so i need something that will fit a rectangular space so all of these that are a little too tall and not wide enough probably won't work uh, this one this would work but i don't i don't know exactly what i want i know i'm going to be putting you know this one would work craft supplies in here. Sometimes they may be resin supplies. Sometimes they may be Cricut. Sometimes they may be woodworking supplies. Um, so I don't want anything that is too specifically um, Cricut tools. I also don't want, you know, sewing tools. I like this one that said craft supplies collector. Sometimes I think I uh, collect supplies more than I use them. I actually like this with the crocodile as well because I use that tool all the time. But when I searched through everything, I went ahead and bookmarked, <laughs> there's the crocodile, quite a few that I liked. Um, I also thought about putting a few little like icons on the drawers perhaps. Um, I liked that this one went all the way across. I thought maybe on the front of one of the drawers. Um, but this, the last one that I bookmarked in my crafting era, is probably my favorite, and I do think it will fit the top of this little toolbox perfectly. It has different craft supplies, um, glue, scissors, a little weeding icon, and I like that it's a subtle, you know, nod to Taylor Swift, who I'm not a, I'm not a huge Swifty by any means, but... It has a bunch of these grouped. Interesting. Is that me? Am I the problem? But I do like Taylor Swift. I'm definitely not a Swifty in the sense of <laughs> a true Swifty. Um, I have 
I have not uh, learned all the things that I should know. But that's okay. You know, when did we stop liking things just for the sake of liking them? So, I think since my my actual box is 10.9 by 5.8. Let's go ahead and move this to the back. We will size this. That's actually a pretty decent size. Let's line them up and see. Yeah. And I could be wrong. I think I've seen someone put this exact decal on one of these little tool chests. Maybe that's why I like it. I don't know. Either way, I think this is a great size. I'm going to go ahead and go with it. I'm going to cut it out of white Smart Vinyl. So I will meet you over at my Cricut Maker. I'm using my three without a mat so I can use Smart Vinyl. If you are using a different machine or you need to use a cutting mat, you'll select on mat. Since this is vinyl, we don't need to mirror. Everything here looks good. We will select Smart Vinyl and more pressure. I always select more pressure. I just find that it cuts a little better. We are of course using our normal fine point blades. This is just a vinyl cut and I will meet you over at the Cricut. All right, so I'm using a large uh, bulk roll of Smart Vinyl since I use white and black all the time. I always buy those in large rolls. I've loaded it into my roll holder and placed it right through the guides up against the star wheels. We are going to load it. And our machine will measure out that we have enough vinyl on our roll for our project, which for these small projects we do of course the main problem with that is if I'm doing like a 10 foot project and we'll hit go Go ahead and slice before we eject. That we know we've got everything cut. And now we can remove our roll. And when we unload, it is all cut. So let's go ahead and just cut the excess off here so that we can use it. We won't be able to use it as smart vinyl again. But we can always put it on a cutting mat and use it as regular vinyl. So definitely worth saving. And then we move on to the weeding. So when you're weeding, 
you want to make sure to remove those inside areas that you wouldn't otherwise need. So inside the A, inside the O's. In this design, there's quite a few little areas like with our weeding tool and our scissors that need to be done. So work from the outside in so that you don't accidentally remove the wrong thing. Takes a minute, but it's not difficult. All right, now the white on white is always a little hard to tell, but it is all weeded and we are ready to put this on our little tool chest. So before we get out the transfer tape, make this a big sticker that we have to not get on anything. Let's unbox this baby. I love this. I saw it online first and I had to have it, but it was sold out everywhere and I have been checking my local store ever since. And of course, it wasn't sold out in all the colors. It was sold out in the pink, which you know your girl had to have the pink. Kind of the whole point. So, it's pretty heavy. I mean, it's a real toolbox. <laughs> Little drawer, bigger drawer. And I am putting it in my work shed with my actual tools. So it, it may end up holding real tools as opposed to crafting tools. I haven't fully decided. I think she might go on my pegboard with my big tools. But I do resin in the shed and I do woodworking in the shed. So either one would work. Transfer tape. Move the cutest toolbox aside. always we want to try to line up the straight lines on our transfer tape the grid to something straight on our piece so that we know when we are transferring it what to line up so let's start uh, with this line on the eye that's pretty vertical lay that straight Smooth it as we go. We don't want any bubbles because bubbles mean not straight. <laughs> bubbles mean drama. There we go. Now we'll use our scraper tool. Now these larger letters should get come up pretty easily. But we want to push really hard on all these little tiny fine lines. We definitely don't want to lose them or rip them, which always a possibility. Flip it over, scrape from the back. Now I find when we start picking it up, if something's not coming, grab a weeding tool and just kind of scraping it with that hard metal edge works really well. So we're going to start by pulling. Let's see what comes up so far nothing because why would it there we go we're just gonna slowly work our way letter by letter across the whole piece we might need to scrape more before we start because really should do a little more than that Not sure where my little scraper is, and I like that one bigger, better than this big one. I find that you just can't get as good a pressure with the big one. Which is when I resort to the weeding tool. 
right, doing good. This little guy is very tiny. Probably my biggest worry. There we go, he came up. Keep going slow and just keep watching to make sure that all the edges are working. Out of it, we just keep scraping down each letter as we go. We have less chances that things will rip. Some vinyls come up much easier than others, and I have found no rhyme or reason to say like, "Oh, it's it's not a certain brand." It's honestly not even like. Permanent is harder than removable. It's just sometimes roll to roll. Dropped it. And if you drop it, do not assume that just because it came up clean the first time, it will come right back up. You do need to double check before you keep going. camera and I'm not setting this down a seat y'all are on your own Star come, yes, got it. Ah. In my crafting era. Woo. All right, so now we need to line this up straight to the top and we need to lay it down from the center out, making sure it is as close to even as possible, because once we put it down, coming back up will not happen. Let's start from the top, lay it down. Okay, the scissors did not get quite as nicely laid as I'd like. Oh, crap. All right, I'm gonna smooth the scissors down from the bottom. Rest down from the top. Perfect. And the top opens, which I just learned right now, live with y'all trying to pick up the transfer tape. <laughs> All right. It's almost bad. We got her, I think. Oh, that's cute. All right, I might have to design some little tools like maybe that match these and some more little stars to put on the front of the drawer. Maybe a different day. 
This is really cute. This was the perfect design for this. If I, I still don't know. <laughs> I know I've seen this on Pinterest with so many different designs on top and looking at this looks so familiar. So if I have copied you, um, thank you very much for the inspiration and leave a link down below. But I love this. I wish that this had been the eye. And if I had seen that before I cut it, I would have moved that over so that it all connected and taken this dot out. But I just now saw that. So still cute, still cute. All right, I'm gonna bring y'all in for some close-ups. I cannot wait to fill this up. I am still not convinced that I shouldn't put something maybe on the inside of the drawers or maybe on the front of the drawers. Of course, it does say cobalt on the bottom one, so I could only put uh, crafty icons on the top drawer. There's not a lot of space there, so I'm pretty happy with the top. Of course, there's lots of other really cute designs, but I I'm going to take it right out to the shed and put it on my shelf. And then we'll have to decide if this is going to be resin supplies or woodworking. I'm leaning towards resin because this drawer looks perfect for all my mica powders. Maybe I could put like uh, stir sticks and stuff up top. That would be helpful. Either way, whatever you use yours for, whichever decal you pick, Hope it turns out super cute and let me know if you had to get this pink one as well because I'm obsessed. Bye y'all.